Here's Irving into the front court. Looking to make something happen. And Kyrie Irving makes good from beyond the arc. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Durant with the basketball up top. He'll run the offense. Add two points to the board. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Takes advantage inside after the miss from the perimeter. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Irving had to rush that one, and it's no good. It's Steph Curry with the rock. Let's it fly from long range. And that right there, Jay, his eighth three of the game. He is putting on a show. He's defying physics with that jumper. He's not even holding his foul through. Irving. That one also no good. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Get down, get down, get down. Half court, here come, here come. I got him. I got ball. Irving. I got ball. That one also no good. Oftentimes, one of the ways to negate one of the best shooters in the game is to make him work off the ball. By making him work, you're taking his legs away from that shot. Cash is in for two. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Hey, check up. Let's go. Thompson. They need something to go down. It's no good. Celtics have it. for the game. Nothing more painful than the next day watching tape, seeing the fact that he got 15 points off three-point shots. in time, but that shot, no good. That's blocked by Irving. That ends the third quarter. The Warriors with a commanding lead. It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. Curry with the ball. Fires the three. Had to force that one, but it's no good. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Thompson had to rush that one, and it's no good. Drills it. Jalen Brown really coming into his own. The third overall pick a couple of years ago. He saw his points per game go up drastically. Plus, he is one of the few people in the East that has the versatility to guard LeBron James. Points in the paint. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Grab. 
Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. Fires the three and drains it. Today's league just throws that old school stuff out of the window. Why have twos when you can shoot threes, even on fast breaks? Guys spread out towards the three-point line instead of laying the ball easy at the rim. The shot blocked by Brown. Oh, he blocked that with authority. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. Jay, I'm surprised. He had a chance to wrap him up. Well, you're not the only one surprised. This guy is not a good free throw shooter. You never let him have an easy bucket. If anything, make him earn it at the charity strike. Celtics have it. Irving. That'll be a winning formula in open. time every time answer a two on one end with a three on the other and tell me if i'm wrong but i think a three is more than a two correct that is great math my friend he got it off in time but that shot no good durant yes or in the case of the defense not good you live by the three you die by the three and guess what they're living okay, large right now irving had to force that one, but it's no good. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Irving with the basketball. His guys down big. Irving. Irving shot off the mark. Thompson. Offensive board. Thompson buries the three. He's too good to leave that open. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Knocked loose. Curry has it. He's had a good shooting performance, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Yeah, no one else pretty much helped out. As a coach, I will be irate that nobody helped pick up the slack. Look, one man can never beat five. Has a chance. That's the shooter's mentality. Stays with it after the miss. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Down the middle for two. Inside, he scores. Clay isn't usually a guy that goes to the bucket. He usually pulls up for threes, but that was a nice, easy lay in right there. Kyrie with the rock. Beyond the arc for three. Had to rush that one, and it's no good. Hey, switch, I got him. Thompson. He got it off in time, but that shot, no good. Thompson. That one, also no good. Curry. Trying for a 40-point night, but it's off the mark. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his hey, own head. Curry. That one also no good. Blocked by Tatum. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. It's the Warriors who get the victory as they win this one in blowout fashion. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now.
This is the Warriors got themselves a win here today. And player of the game. Steph Curry. It's a choice for what you're seeing here. And that's unselfish play. Tight passes, great timing, and an impressive basketball IQ. He earned more respect than what I already have for him. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports.